Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a few things that are going on down here in the fish room. Give you guys a little update and fill you in. So we're going to talk about three things today. And the first thing is, I know some of you guys out there are waiting for an update, but we're going to talk about the Biohome Ultimate and our little experiment with the 90 gallon. Uh, we're also going to talk about downsizing and where my hobby is going uh, moving forward. And I also wanted to give you guys a nice little tank tour. I have some really cool fish down here right now. So just kind of wanted to show you around briefly, uh, show you what's kind of going on and what's new. So let's get started. First things first, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Biohome Ultimate and uh, you know, kind of a follow-up video for uh, the video that I made where we kind of stacked it, we built our FX6 and we had it running in the 90 gallon. Um, I want to apologize guys, unfortunately due to some circumstances with that tank, um, I was unable to continue with the experiment so our results are going to be incomplete. So um, again I'm really sorry, I wanted to you know have some good results either way but um, unfortunately like I said um, I kind of had to break the tank down and um, kind of stop the experiment before we could get our final results. So I hope you guys don't beat me up too bad in the comment section. Um, I really did want to, you know, kind of see that one through and have some good results for you guys. But maybe down the road we can set something up and try it out again and uh, kind of determine once and for all if the Biohome Ultimate is a worthy upgrade or not. So. Um, moving on from that, you know, I want to talk a little bit about where I'm at in the hobby and uh, what's kind of going on around here lately. So I've um, been kind of downsizing a little bit with uh, a few of the tanks. I mean, I don't have a, a huge amount of tanks in the basement here, but um, I know my wife and I, we were talking about uh, possibly making a move to a new house uh, somewhere in the future. And originally we had thought that we would maybe be moving in 2020 so I was kind of uh, keeping things a little bit uh, you know just kind of trying to move some fish out keeping things kind of manageable down here just in case we we decided to move but I think that's kind of been postponed and moved forward maybe another year so uh, that's good news for uh, my hobby as uh, I can kind of uh, you know, I don't have to worry about moving all these fish to a new location or anything like that. So, kind of been starting up a few tanks that I had empty and kind of acquiring a few uh, new types of fish that uh, hopefully we can grow out and, um, you know, just kind of uh, distribute around here to some of my fellow hobbyists in the area here. So, um, so that's been kind of fun. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm at right now, just kind of waiting to... Uh, you know possibly move to a new house um, you know maybe somewhere down the road but uh, still kind of enjoying things and you know have some new fish and just enjoying my you know beautiful 120 back here so uh, it's been a lot of fun right now so I'm just gonna grab the camera and we'll go around I'll, I'll just show you guys um, the setup and, and all the tanks and show you some of the fish that we have All right, guys, let's start the tour off here with my 120 gallon tank. And in this tank, we have a group of Cynotilapia white top hara, a group of Pseudotrophius interruptus, and a group of Metriaclima eusissii. And all three of those groups are first generation from wild caught. We also have my beautiful group of albino redfin zebra and a small group of Pseudotrophius elegans. So let's take a closer look at some of the fish. So right at the bottom here you can see one of my dominant male white top paras. Got a nice group of these guys. Had a couple spawns from them already. Then right in the middle of the screen there, the two brown fish. Those are my Metriaclima eusissii. And those guys are a little bit more timid in this tank. 
Uh, but they finally had a spawn, so they're doing well. And then right in the middle of your screen there is one of my male interruptus. And also my dominant male uh, albino redfin zebra. Had this guy quite a long time. Those are the oldest group of Mbuna that I have in here. Yeah, there's one of the female interruptus, the little orange fish in the middle. And then right in the middle of your screen, the purple fish there is my dominant male elegans. Or elegan. Uh, we also have one OB peacock in here and three Cynodontus petricola. And that kind of rounds out the 120. Uh, this group is doing amazing. Just loving this tank. Uh, so much action, lots of color. Uh, it's just been a fantastic tank to watch and uh, just really enjoying the fish. So let's move along here. And over on this side of the room, this is where my 90 gallon used to be. And just like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I uh, had some issues with the tank. I ended up breaking it down. So it was just kind of sitting empty for a little while and uh, decided to sell it. Uh, I did keep uh, all the equipment for it. So the filters, uh, heaters, all that kind of stuff, just in case we wanted to start something up in the future. I'm thinking that maybe down the road, if we do end up getting a new place, uh, I might decide to pick up a larger tank, maybe a six foot tank. So that's something that I uh, can look forward to down in the future. So I'll just show you uh, these tanks really quickly. In this 10 gallon, we have some white top Hera. In my 29 gallon, we have some one inch white top Hera and some one inch elegans. As you can see some nice color from these guys. And then this tank back here, I don't believe I've ever shown on camera. I picked this tank up probably close to a year ago and uh, it's just been serving as another grow tank down here. And in this tank, we have some two inch elegans and some two inch uh, electric yellow labs or Labidochromus corellius. So these guys are doing great. Kind of spooked them a little bit, but at least you got to see them. And then moving back over here, in my 75 gallons here, we have some new arrivals. We have a beautiful group of first generation from Wildcott, Metriaclima, Fainzelberi, Maisonai Reef. So I picked these guys up not too long ago and just kind of brought them up to, um, you know, sell them up in my area here. Uh, they're kind of a little bit of a harder fish to find. And uh, again, luckily we have an importer and some breeders that are close by that breed these beautiful fish. So just picked up this group to, uh, you know, redistribute up here in my area. But they are absolutely beautiful. Just kind of growing them out a little bit. They're between two and three inches right now. And uh, really enjoying the group. And then down here in the bottom tank, and we kind of spooked these guys a little bit. Uh, we have, again, another group of first generation from wild caught, uh, Metriaclima lombardi, as well as a small group of five Labidochromus corellius. So again, the lombardi, I had a chance to pick up a nice group and just brought them up here to uh, kind of 
uh, sell and redistribute up here in my area. So hopefully we'll find some uh, local people that will be interested in breeding these guys. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, we have some of the males starting to color already. Uh, these guys are, uh, for the most part, uh, between two and two and a half inches. You can see some of the uh, uh, some of them are starting to turn orange. Those would be the little males. Right in the middle of the screen there, there's uh, a beautiful little male. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of food here. Uh, some of these guys are a little bit timid because uh, normally they don't have the lights on down here on the tanks. Let's we'll throw some food in and just kind of see if we can get them to come out a little bit more. And there you go. There's my beautiful group of Lombardi. And I have the food out for a particular reason. Um, I think we're going to have to use it to kind of see if we can coax the fish out of this tank. This is a group of Labiotrophus Trovasi OB Orange. And uh, these fish, the original group, were picked up from uh, a reputable Florida fish farm. And, uh, you know, I just have some of the babies from the group. And I'm told once they grow up and kind of mature, they're a very beautiful fish. So I have these guys just for uh, my personal use, I guess, or my just for my tanks. Uh, my plans are to grow them out, and they're eventually going to make their way into the 120. And uh, they'll probably have to replace something in the 120. But my plan is to hopefully breed these guys if they end up being a nice fish. So I'm just going to throw some food in here so we can see if we can coax them out a little bit. And just kind of back off a little. Sorry about the glare, guys. So the little orange fish are the females, and the ones with the darker blotches are the males. And as you can see, they haven't fully matured yet. They're probably between... Uh, they're probably around two and a half inches, maybe the biggest one uh, right there in the, in the middle there, that big male, he's probably around three inches. So they still have a little bit of growing to do. But a really cool group and I'm enjoying them so far. And then down here in my bottom 40 breeder, we have a nice little group of albino redfin zebra. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here, and I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.